My father passed away when I was 12 and I didn't want to go to a therapist. I went to a boarding school, which was my father's dream. So I went for him and they had a yoga class and I took it and I loved it. It became a practice that I needed to do. Yoga really grounded my thoughts, my energy. It allowed me to kind of go somewhere else. DJ thing started the summer before I moved to New Orleans, and that was by chance. Like my friend, she called me like, "Girl, I have an event. My DJ canceled on me." And I was like, "Yeah, girl, but I don't, I don't know anything about it." And she was like, "Well, it's next week." and I think you could do it. I don't think I practiced, and I got there and I slammed it. People were asking me, when's your next gig? I think oftentimes I feel unrelatable. Music allows all of us to connect in that type of way. The moment I realized I was becoming a mother, I was just, I was happy. Partner and I, perfectly imperfect beings that we are, it just felt right. And I think motherhood is such a sacred, energy and frequency uh, that holds this universe together. It was this fearlessness that my daughter brought. So to be a part of that squad, it was an honor. I had to straighten up. I got more serious with how I was handling myself, handling others, even the way that I was communicating to myself. There's someone who's depending on me to wake up and take care of her. My family's from Barbados. I come from a lineage that is rooted in, I would say, community advocacy. I love my culture, you know, I love the music, the rhythm, you know, and I think that's actually why I love New Orleans. I didn't move to New Orleans to do yoga or even to DJ. I moved here because it was a dream.